Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Parliamentary Press Gallery Dinner, an event Prime Ministers look forward to all year. <laughs> A chance to mock everyone else's mistakes while, of course, downplaying one's own. Je tiens à saluer les maîtres de cérémonie, Marie-Danielle Smith et Christopher Nardi, The National Post et le Journal de Montréal. Je suis vraiment entouré d'amis ce soir. <laughs> now, I know some people are watching this on CPAC, to all the nerds, and Martin Stringer, who is, of course, PVRing this for a rewatch. Hello, and thank you for supporting democracy. No, but seriously. Thank you, CPAC, for always covering the stories that the other networks are too busy to cover. Important committee meeting? No, CBC would rather send 900 journalists to the royal wedding, including bringing Peter Mansbridge out of retirement. <laughs> La période des questions? No, l'équipe de TVA est bien trop compliquée, occupée à interroger la madame qui a trouvé une mouche dans son timbit. So thank you, CPAC, for covering the real news. And you'll always be able to count on Ottawa staffers for keeping your numbers steady in the mid-20s. <laughs> it's great to be here tonight, surrounded by media and politicians, friends and frenemies, and all the different party factions. Conservatives, both real and fake. <laughs> Dippers. Albertans and everybody else. <laughs> et le Bloc Québécois, les Blocistes Québécois, et les Québécois du Bloc. <laughs> now, I thought I'd make tonight like the back of the plane, which means we're off the record. So Aiken, Fife, if you want to leave the room, now's the time. <laughs> okay, 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 hang on. That's, that's not true. Everybody here knows you're never off the record with Bob Fife unless you're Mike Duffy. Oh, oh, oh yeah, and in the interests of national security, I should disclose that Randeep Sarai was in charge of the guest list tonight, so just watch your back, that's what I'm saying. I'd like to begin by offering a warm welcome to the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada, Andrew Scheer. Andrew, it's a pleasure as always. Your dimples are looking extra sinister tonight. <laughs> now, Andrew's given us a lot of flack lately about the Canada Summer Jobs Program, but I get it. It hits close to home. After all, his first job was in a government-subsidized anti-abortion religious institution, also known as the Reform Party. Jagmeet Singh is with us this evening. Jagmeet, te voila. Pas de guicaron. En tout cas, je vous le dis là, vous êtes pas mal chanceux vous deux de pas m'avoir eu comme enseignant parce que quand dans ma classe on soufflait les réponses à son ami là, euh, vous étiez dans les trous. Actually, uh, I have to admit I'm kind of surprised to see Jagmeet here tonight. It is, after all, the parliamentary press gallery dinner. <laughs> It's uh, nice to see Rachel Notley here as well tonight. Yeah, no, I'm just messing with you, Jigmeet. <laughs> Terrible for him to have to talk to her. Martine Wallet nous fait honneur de sa présence. Elle est bien sûr la chef du Bloc québécois et vraiment, on peut dire qu'elle dirige son parti comme si elle n'avait pas de siège à perdre. Mais, mais, mais pensez-y, Martine est venue à Ottawa en quête d'indépendance. Réussi! Toutes mes félicitations, Martine. Liz May, you are here, yes. We really had to grease the popo to get her out in here tonight, but I'm glad you made it. But you know, in all honesty, the only person to have a worse start to 2018 than Liz May it was me. It's been a long year for the government. We faced some protests over the Trans Mountain Pipeline. Turns out some leaders will do anything and everything to prevent us from finding success on that file. 
Speaking of Jason Kenney, Jason recently insulted me by saying something weird about finger bowls. He also claimed that I can't read a briefing note longer than a cocktail napkin, which I can tell you is absolutely untrue. Sometimes Jerry adds funny drawings, which makes it two cocktail napkins. <laughs> so I'll admit, this year we've had our share of downs and downs, which is why I'm really looking forward to this summer. Although this year, we're actually taking our family vacation with Liz Thompson. It'll save everyone a lot of time and tears. <laughs> but we all know that summer is about more than vacation. Summer is also about traveling the country for pride. And actually, Andrew, I heard a rumor that you wanted to carpool to pride this year. Is that true? <laughs> Okay, no worries, we can work out the details later. I'll bring the water guns, you bring the glow sticks, I promise you'll have fun. <laughs> oh wait, or is that that you bring the water guns? I'm, I, I, what is your official position on that? I, I know there was something about it in your leadership platform, but apparently the internet isn't forever. Who knew? <laughs> and speaking of guns, Michelle Rempel was supposed to be here, but couldn't make it at the last minute. But that's okay, it doesn't change anything for the caterers because there was never going to be any of this fancy food for her. She still has some gas station deli meat left over from Davos in her purse, so she's fine, thank you very much. Stephen Harper, dans les nouvelles ces jours-ci, il parle de l'Iran, il parle de la Lena, il parle de lui-même, il est en train d'écrire un livre. Je pense qu'il a plus parlé aux journalistes dans la dernière année qu'il a fait lorsqu'il a été premier ministre pendant dix ans. Non, non, mais, mais pensez-y, là. Andrew Scheer doit vraiment être en crise que Rona a changé les règles pour que les conservateurs puissent parler aux journalistes. Hein? Et sur la Lena, j'ai les dernières nouvelles pour vous. Vous voulez faire une surprise ce soir? Je viens juste d'apprendre que les négociations se poursuivent. Et non, non, c'est pas tout. Je peux également confirmer qu'on travaille très fort là-dessus, qu'on qu prend ça très au sérieux et que des progrès importants ont été réalisés afin de réaliser un accord qui sera gagnant, 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 gagnant. To be honest at this point, I know how you feel. I just want to get NAFTA done so that poor Katie Simpson can get some sleep. You see, no one works harder than NAFTA beat Katie Simpson. Except for maybe Stephen Chase. You know, I gotta say, Stephen, I'm a big fan. I love your work. Oh, come on. I know, puns are the lowest form of humor, with the possible exception of politician speeches at the press gallery dinner. But back to NAFTA for a second. Christia Freeland, recently likened NAFTA negotiations to giving birth. She said, when I was giving birth, one of my midwives said, you never know how long the labor will be, but you know that each contraction is one contraction closer to the baby being born. And if I could use such a personal metaphor, that seems to apply to trade negotiations. The moral of the story here, my foreign minister has to spend way, way less time with my wife. <laughs> and so thank you very much, everyone. That's it in terms of this year. Nothing else happened. Nothing at all. We didn't go to India. So it's, and I tried, right? I told my team, look, I don't remember the India trip. I mean, I think to myself, oh, we should really go to India sometime. The same way, you know, I say to myself every now and then, you know, they really should have made a Highlander 2 sometime because that was such a great movie. So I told them I repressed, repressed the entire trip and they said, that's okay. We, wait, we went ahead and made a slideshow for you. Aren't I lucky? So. Uh, Let's rip off that band-aid. Can we roll it, please? 
Okay. So this is a very short summary of India Trip 2018. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. One day, a long, long time ago, my team was like, let's go to India to strengthen people-to-people -people ties and generate investment in Canada. And I said, okay. And that was the beginning of the end. This is me studying my cocktail napkins on the flight over. So much hope, so much hard work. Little did I know. But listen, despite the blaring, negative, wall-to-wall -wall international ridicule, it was a pretty good trip. See, here we are being welcomed on arrival by the Minister of Agriculture. <laughs> Apparently, you people don't get this, but according to Lawrence McCauley and Kelsey Johnson from iPolitics, this is a very big deal. And here I am, meeting with the CEO of Infosys, a company that, for the record, announced new investments in Canada during the course of this trip. But you guys didn't report on it because I was wearing a shirt and tie. Boring. <laughs> but at least now, the people watching this on CPAC will know about the investment. All 20 of you. Here's Hadrian, earning his keep, hard at work on behalf of the middle class and those working hard to join it. Move. <laughs> Here I am, meeting Bollywood star Shah Rukh Khan. And wow, one of us is seriously underdressed. How embarrassing <laughs> for him. <laughs> and Here I am, trying to make Harj feel less bad for being underdressed. <laughs> People were making fun of him. It was really sad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me unpack this one a bit for you. First, for the record, we are signing the guest book at the Gandhi Memorial in Delhi. Second, Hadrian is planking with an awful lot of conviction for a four-year-old. See, this was the point where he just totally gave up on the trip. Of course, I was sort of feeling the same, but no. Sunny ways strikes again. And, and, and third, and most notably, if you look in the upper right corner, you can spot Terry Guillaume. <laughs> now, you all know Terry. Him, you take seriously. Yes, yes, round of applause for Terry, yeah. <laughs> see, you can see the look on his face. And he later admitted to me that this was the moment where it suddenly dawned on him that flipping to the PMO was perhaps not the best career choice. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I don't know how this got in here. That, this, this is not from India. This is an actual shot of the new national on CBC. If you look really, really close, you can see Rosie. <laughs> Mais comme vous le savez, Sophie était aussi sur le voyage. Elle a vécu des moments inoubliables. Elle a même fait la une de plusieurs journaux internationaux avec cette photo. Right. What a gorgeous photo. I mean, media couldn't stop talking about this one. Such a beautiful dress. And that's a wrap. That was India. Ladies and gentlemen, the trip to end all trips. Seriously, I've told my team I'm not going anywhere ever again. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, before I go, I would like to take a second to talk about something that isn't even remotely funny. But we do need to talk about it. Right now, there are two Reuters journalists being detained in Myanmar, facing up to 14 years in prison. They've been arrested for doing their jobs. Nombreux sont les journalistes qui, à travers le monde, sont censurés, intimidés et susceptibles à la violence simplement parce qu'ils font leur travail. Vous savez, les, les, les premières versions de ce discours ont été écrites il y a quelques semaines. Et j'étais censé vous dire que nous avons la chance 
de vivre dans un pays où les journalistes peuvent faire leur travail sans crainte de menaces ou de représailles, sans la peur d'être ciblé simplement parce que vous dites la vérité. Or, plus tôt cette semaine, des journalistes de Vice ont été intimidés et harcelés par un groupe d'extrême droite ici au Canada, à Montréal. Et c'est inacceptable. A free press is the foundation of democracy. Full stop. I know you believe that, and I know that's why you do the work you do. You have a pretty powerful responsibility. And as much as you guys can give me a hard time, I wouldn't have it any other way. So please, keep asking the tough questions and keep us engaged in the essential debates that are shaping our society. For all you do, tonight, tomorrow, and always, thank you. People kind is lucky to have you. Merci beaucoup, mes amis. Have a great night.